Marc Gabriel Charles Glayer was a Swiss-born French artist who was born on May 2, 1806 in Switzerland and later settled in France. Glayer's artworks reflected the academic art and romanticism movements of his time. He was known for his realistic portrayals of religious and mythological themes while incorporating romantic techniques and elements into his paintings. His style was influenced by the works of Angra and Delaroche, which he incorporated into his own artistic vision. Glayer was instrumental in shaping the careers of many young artists, including some of the most renowned painters of the Impressionism movement like Claude Monet, Pierre-Auguste Renoir, and Alfred Sisley. His teaching methods, which emphasized observation and individual expression, provided his students with the foundational skills they needed to develop their own styles and create masterpieces. Charles Glayer was born in Switzerland in 1806. After his parents passed away when he was young, he was raised by his uncle in Lyon, France. He received his artistic education in Lyon before moving to Paris to study at the École de Beaux-Arts and the Academy Suisse, where he learned watercolor techniques. He was then introduced to Horace Vernet and Louis Leopold Robert while in Italy. In 1834, he accompanied John Lowell Jr. on trips around the eastern Mediterranean where he recorded the scenes and subjects they encountered. After returning to France in 1838, Glayer began working on his ideas, and one of his first paintings, Apocalyptic Vision of St. John, was exhibited in the Salon of 1840. Early works, like Diana Leaving the Bath and A Young Nubian, were not immediately popular. However, his painting, Evening, also known as Lost Illusions, which depicts a poet lost in thought as he watches a passing boat, became widely popular and earned him a medal of the second class at the Salon in 1843. Despite the success he experienced, Glare decided to withdraw from public competition and instead devoted himself to his artistic vision. While he worked steadily and was exceptionally skilled at his craft, he never sought fame, wealth, or the adoration of the masses. After 1845, he exhibited very few paintings and contributed only two works to the Salon. His health was poor after his travels, which was compounded by attacks of ophthalmia and fever. When asked how he was able to attain the level of artistry he did, Glayer simply said, by thinking about it always. Many years elapsed between the conception and the realization of his pieces. Glayer's art offers insight into his unique vision. It is often described as dreamlike, highly romantic, and emotionally evocative. His works, such as The Bath, Minerva and the Three Graces, and Turkish Woman, exhibit his unique style. Although he gained admiration in his lifetime and had talented students, including Jules Breton, Auguste Tolmouch, and Lyon Perrault it was not until after his death that an appreciation for his work began to resurface. Some critics speculate that his aversion to the hype and noise of public competition led to his lack of fame during his life and after. Charles Glayer passed away on May 5, 1874, leaving behind a body of work that has since gained recognition and admiration. In conclusion, Marc Gabriel Charles Glayer was an exceptional Swiss-born French artist who was a skillful and creative painter of his time. Glayer's artworks reflected the romanticism and academic art movements of his era, with his unique vision incorporating realistic portrayals of religious and mythical themes while blending romantic techniques and elements into his paintings. The most impressive aspect of his career is his contribution to shaping the careers of many young artists, including some of the most accomplished painters of the Impressionism movement. With his teaching methods emphasizing observation and individual expression, Glayer provided his students with the foundational skills they needed to create masterpieces. Furthermore, Glayer's art, often described as dreamlike, highly romantic, and emotionally evocative, offers insight into his unique perspective. Despite his poor health and lack of fame during his life, Charles Glayer dedicated himself to his artistic vision, producing a body of work that has since gained recognition and admiration.